Hey guys, it's Way here. Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be talking about what is, in my opinion, the biggest and best promo in FIFA. It is, of course, Team of the Season, as you can tell by the title, and the promo is fast approaching. The Premier League season ends fairly soon. We've only got around seven or eight games to go, and it's the same for the majority of the other top leagues around Europe. And that means the promo is a lot closer than some of you guys may have thought. And there's a lot of stuff to look forward to. Loads of new players for around eight weeks. We're going to have almost non-stop content, SBCs, packs, loads of new stuff to look forward to. And in today's video, I'm going to be updating you guys on that, especially with the potential release date for Team of the Season and some of the things to look out for during the promo. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, if you do, don't forget to leave a like on it, subscribe if you're new around here, and without further ado, let's go on into it. First of all, for the small minority of you who may not know what Team of the Season is, or simply to refresh your memory, it's a huge promo we typically get towards the end of the domestic football calendar in Europe, and we have a variety of squads made up of special items with considerably boosted stats for different leagues. The five major leagues, the Premier League, Bundesliga, La Liga, Serie and the Ligue 1 get their own squads of 23 players each available in packs and generally one or two extra ones from weekly objectives too and these are for the players who perform best throughout the season. Their picks by A apart from the most consistent team of the season which is made up of players who as the name suggests have performed consistently throughout the season but haven't received a special item and that's actually voted for by the FIFA community on the EA forums and that's the first team of the season we get typically towards the end of April or at the beginning of May and that is all also when the majority of the big leagues end as well. They typically come to their conclusions in the early stages of May. We also have other team of the season squads for some of the smaller leagues. The Liga Nos gets its own one as does the Saudi League. There's also a Benelux team of the season for the Netherlands and Belgium. Although this year we may potentially have one for Belgium and one for the Netherlands because EA seems to be putting out so much content at the moment. I think we're going to see more Team of the Season squads. In previous years, we've had the rest of the world Team of the Season, which incorporates a lot of those smaller leagues. You generally have the Russian League, a lot of the South American Leagues in there. But this year, we could have uh, different Team of the Seasons for almost every single league on the game. There's normally a Super League Team of the Season as well, and then a little bit later on, we get the MLS All-Stars Team of the Season too. There's one for the Championship. There's ones for so many different leagues. I think this year, we could generally see, like... 15, maybe even 20 different Team of the Season squads. So there are going to be so many players available in packs. A huge impact will, of course, happen on the market. We're going to see a massive, massive market crash. Players are just going to bottom out in value. We're going to have loads of SBCs, a lot of free players available from weekly objectives. It's going to be huge and there is a lot to look forward to. In previous FIFA's team of the season has typically started in late April or early May. On FIFA 16 it was on April the 26th, then FIFA 17, May the 12th, and in FIFA 18, April the 27th. They're all Fridays and that is when EA release new promos. With team of the season it's going to be no different and it always starts with the most consistent team of the season which is available for a whole week, followed by the five major leagues, each of which is also available for a week. So that takes up six weeks and then after that we have a lot of those smaller leagues and they're generally available for two or three days uh, and they release them a lot more regularly so we have more content coming out with some of those smaller leagues so you can expect the promo to start with the most consistent on a friday and it's probably going to be in late april or early may the dates i've i think we could possibly see it the 19th or 25th of April, or the 2nd or 9th of May. It may come a little bit earlier, probably a week, maybe even two weeks earlier. It may possibly come a week or two later, uh, but I think somewhere within, within that month or so is going to be uh, when we see the beginning of Team of the Season. And my personal bet would probably be um, in April, maybe like the 25th or the, or the 19th, just because EA are releasing loads and loads of content right now. I think they'll want to have Team of the Season start a little bit earlier because they're going to probably try and push out more leagues and they're going to need more time to push out more leagues. So I think that's how it's going to work. We've also got the Nations League and the Champions League final and stuff after that. So there'll be more content coming there. So I think EA will probably release this towards the end of April, the 19th or the 25th would be my bet. That's when Team of the Season will start in my opinion. But you can let me know down below in the comment section your opinions. Let me know anything else you want to know about Team of the Season and I can do a more in-depth video maybe talking about trading and investing but that's pretty much all you need to know we're going to have a lot of different squads weekly objective players should be available with 23 available in packs as well we're going to have all the different leagues covered around europe all the major leagues a lot of the smaller leagues as well uh, it will start with the most consistent and it should start in early april 
or maybe, uh, or late April rather, or uh, early May. That's when I think anyway. Um, but uh, this is just a quick video I'm getting done ahead of time as I'm actually going away. I'll be in Poland by the time you're watching this video. So if you guys did enjoy it, if you did, don't forget to leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're on your own here, and I'll catch you later. Take care.